If you leave a job or you retire, you have typically five options with your 401k. The first is you could keep it where it is. The second is you could roll it into a new plan with a new employer if you are still working. The third is you could roll it into a new traditional or rollover IRA. The fourth option is you could convert money from pre-tax to after-tax dollars and pay the taxes on it. And then the fifth option, which I would not recommend, is you could take the money lump sum, go have a lot of fun, and pay the taxes on it. The 401k is great, especially if you're getting the matching contributions. The downside to the 401k is that you have limited investment options. Now, if you're someone who's a do-it-yourselfer and you're just happy with investing in like a S&P 500 mutual fund or something really basic, you know, keeping it in a mutual fund inside your 401k would probably be your best choice if you'd like to do it yourself and you don't want any customization. If you want customization and you want every investment choice under the sun that you can choose, you can do more invest sophisticated investment strategies strategies, you can pretty much invest in everything you want. That's where moving it from a 401k into an IRA is going to be beneficial. So that way you can take advantage of the opportunities that come up into the markets and add the customization that you want with your investment portfolio. Even if you are a do-it-yourselfer, moving into an IRA would still probably make sense because you can invest into a vast array of exchange traded funds, as well as putting certain precautions in place by being able to put in stop and limit orders can help you add some automation and protection to your investments that you're not able to do inside a 401k.